Hello everybody, this is me. Um, now today I'm going to talk about loneliness. Um, I'm noticing it's been some time that I am going through a feeling of emptiness and like you could put it that way that I am yearning for connection. I know I have my kids at home and my husband, but I want to go and sit in the gathering of girls and women and just listen to them, talk to them, and have a good time with them. Just because it's very cold, so just have a sip of tea or coffee and just chat. I tried. I have my sister-in-laws. I go there. Um, I went there, but I don't know what's the problem. That if you've gone somewhere, if you go there again, even after a month, guests are not welcome that much these days. Even though I try my best to just calm them down, just ask them, okay, don't need to make anything, bring anything or any dinner or lunch. Don't do that. Just sit and talk. But they, they don't seem to fulfill that, that void of mine for which I go to their houses. I have two uh, sister-in-laws which I go to usually so I used to go there like once a year or some occasions like on Eid but now since I've started feeling this thing and I've started realizing that I need somebody to talk to so I went there but it's still there it is it is that when I go there I feel that I'm not welcome And, or, or if I go there, they try their best to make uh, the dinner or they just engage themselves in the kitchen and I am, again, not getting what I want. I have been watching a lot of videos on loneliness and most of the time people talk about it, that people are lonely in U.S., in the West, mostly they emphasize that people are lonely in the West. But I don't think that people are lonely only in the West. I'm not in the West. And I am feeling lonely. Yesterday, I saw a video and um, the guy said that when we're lonely, we feel threatened because since thousands of years, our survival depended upon being together, living in tribes, sharing our workloads, and uh, sharing our feelings, venting our angers, together living in a community. But now that we are alone, I don't want anybody to share my, my workload or anything. I just want somebody to be there to listen to me. I want someone to listen to my, to my nonsense. Whatever I'm thinking, whatever are my thoughts, or just gossip and just have fun with me. That kind of fun, that kind of listening, that kind of talking. And that makes me feel even it's not productive even it's just like those girlish talk or gossip or things like that but it, it relaxes me it's a kind of therapy i think i have my neighbors uh behind my house they it's a it's a poor neighborhood where i live and Behind my house, it's a one Marla house where you can say it's 225 square feet house and around 20 to 25 people manage to live in that house. 
most of the time they cook outside, but always they cook outside. They have the kitchen outside and they cook on the woods and coals. It's very cold here in Lahore these days, but they just sit outside and cook. What I saw in them is there are four, five, six women and they talk. Even when I'm making the video, you can hear their voices. There are kids around, there are men around, and they just live like a tribe. In a city, in a very small house, with very meager resources, they are just living together. I have seen the marriages happening here. I have seen deaths happening here. And there are plenty of people to mourn for the dead, to celebrate the marriage. And sometimes I'm so, I'm so, uh, I'm so lonely that at times I feel like I just go and sit with them. I look at them um, through my window and I want to join them. I know it's a query kind of feeling, but they won't, I know they won't welcome me either they won't like me sitting among them. I, I don't belong there. I would be an odd man out or they'd be, they, would, they would be suspicious that why I'm sitting with them and listening to them. I just want to run into a village and sit among women there, talk to them, listen to their problems, share my problems with them. What I want to discuss here is that I don't know if it's me. I have people around me. My mother, I go to my mother's house. My mother, my father, my brother. My brother mostly likes to play PUBG in his secluded room. He's also an isolated person. My mother and father, we sit together. We talk about a lot of things but I still feel alone. And um, where can I find people? That's my question. Where can I find people? I am a lonely person in the crowd. I, I have no clue. Should I feel this feeling and live with this feeling? And there are some people who don't want to meet other people and they are secluded. Where am I wrong? What am I doing wrong? I don't know. I don't know. The, the, the two uh, people, the two sister-in-laws that I go to, they are already living with their um, mothers and they have they have a large family unit like they're not living like me so when I go to them they are not feeling lonely so they they cannot relate to me you know what I mean I need them they don't need me that's why I am not being talked to much the way I want. So yes, this is what I wanted to talk to you about, that um, this loneliness is not a good thing. I don't want to live with this thing, but I am lost. I am not able to find out what is the solution. If anybody knows, I, I asked a few people, I asked my friends. I asked my Facebook friends, I asked my, my WhatsApp friends, I asked the friends that I worked with before. And uh, my figure that, uh, they, they, they tell me that, why don't you do things like painting and writing and uh, you engage yourself in. But this is something that I'm talking to the mirror, just like I'm talking to the mirror, I'm talking to myself. And it is not um, that I'm getting a response of what I have to say. So yeah, this is one thing. And uh, yesterday, one thing that I noticed when I was talking on WhatsApp, I was texting my friend on WhatsApp and I was 
asking her uh, for the recipe of pancakes because she made some wonderful pancakes and I was asking how to make it and then we started talking about here and there and I was sweeping my floor and I was making the handy also and and uh, a phone was in my hand I was texting and I was thinking my mind was constantly telling me just shut it just shut it you're wasting your time you're wasting your time you have plenty of things to do and then it struck me that the connection on the Facebook on the screen connection the social media connection we repent on it we don't we don't cherish it like the same friend if she had been sitting with me in my house and we've been talking and uh, we've been um, cutting the vegetables together my mind would be at ease that you are you're fine nothing is wrong but I was amazed that my mind was telling me alarming me that Anadia, you're not being productive, you're wasting your time. Just wrap up this conversation and get going with your work. And I, I kind of realized that no matter how many friends you have on social media and how, how it is, it is not... It is not the same as the personal face-to-face, -face, physical connection, physical presence of the other person. I send a message on WhatsApp to a friend and I'm just hysterically looking at the reply that somebody replied me, did someone reply me? I'm panicking. And uh, when I get a response, I'm so happy. You know what I mean? Have a good day. Bye-bye.